Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Welcome to The Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar, two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana, events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's The Rocket Right Show, and now, here's Betsy and Kay. We're so glad that you could join us as we kick off a great holiday season. You know, it's been a tough year. But we, nonetheless, are very grateful, very thankful. And there's a lot of people that we want to thank this year, and we're going to be doing that this month. But we also want to share with you some of the great businesses, organizations, and opportunities you have to connect with others in December. All right. Now, Hurricane Betsy Barnes, I'm liking your hat. Thank and, you, Kay um, <laughs> You are welcome. And Dr. Ron McMorris, we have one for you, too, that you're going to have to select because we <laughs> like sharing gifts. Okay, I like yeah. gifts. Yeah. Like and we're not going to make you wear it till the end of the segment, though, because we want you to look <laughs> real professional. Right. Okay? That's Sounds right. And, and, and we don't uh, <laughs> uh, because we're having fun and we're starting the festive season but we're so glad that you could join us in our partners one studio in a featured business and you're just an old pro because you've been been here and done this that's before, right he right? was brave enough to come back y'all's energy is so awesome I mean, just, <laughs> it gets me through a month and i need it again that's right <laughs> thank you so much well, we're talking with dr ron mcmorris of elite chiropractic and why don't you tell folks just in general because there's some misconception about what all chiropractors do, and you do a lot over there. We do a lot. So <clears throat> I'm Dr. Ron with Elite Chiropractic Sports and Nutrition, conveniently located off I-12 in Walker and Albany. Yes, very convenient. Very convenient. So uh, we can conveniently serve the entire parish of Livingston. I'm from Livingston Parish, grew up in Livingston Parish, went to Frost Elementary, Dole High School. I love Livingston. Everybody's there, my whole family, so it's, uh, I don't plan on getting out. So chiropractic, a lot of people think that it's, a, it's a, just a crack your back. I hear that all the time. Can you crack my back? Can you snap me? Can you pop me? Well, at Elite Chiropractic, we don't you snap, go, crack, snap or pop. You pop you. <laughs> we don't snap, crack, or pop. We we wine and dine your spine. So I oh, oh, like love that. it. Yeah. And and so, speaking of that, we're whining and dining you as you, you talk about right. our thank spine you, and much more things to like. You know, get this holiday season off to a great start. Well, thank y'all very much. Cheers to a relaxing new year. Let him wine and dine your spine. Mm -hmm. You went and had a visit with Dr. Ron. I did, and I toured the facility, mm -hmm. and lots of amazing stuff that you do over there. Thank you very much. Yes, more than just adjusting, we, we do nutrition programs, we have massage therapy, we do dry needling. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the whole t health concept. And I, and I tell patients, or, or when people ask, who should I go to first? No matter what your problem is, no matter what you're experiencing, come to us first. Come to Elite Chiropractic first. Let's evaluate your condition. And if we can't help you, we'll get you the right person who can. Uh, you know, and I like that you said it's, it, it's a whole thing, including nutrition. Correct. Because to heal well and to reduce your pain, a lot of that it is because of inflammation. And if you have a healthy diet and you're getting the right nutrients and supplements, uh, whether it's through supplements or your food intake, you're healthier, you're going to respond better to any treatments. Of course, I mean, it's, it's, it's natural. Some foods are actually inflammatory. Mm -hmm. Some foods are anti-inflammatory. So having a, a proper balance gets you a full array of nutritional products, nutrition into the system. We need the vitamins and minerals. There's so many, the worst thing, I, the thing I, I hate to hear, I just hate to hear, cut your carbs, cut your carbs. Carbs are extremely important. It's Cut your processed carbs, people. Right. Processed carbs. Good You've advice. You've got to have the asparagus, the leafy green leafy vegetables. You've got to have the vegetables, the fruits. They all carry vitamins and nutrition. They're important right now. We're in this 
it's 20 degrees below zero in the morning and it's 120 <laughs> degrees in the evening. You know, Feels guys, like it, yeah. these extreme temperature changes we have here in Louisiana, great for sinus infections, the, the immune systems, you know, we need to have a strong immune system. So basically well, similar foods that you would eat to eat healthier, you know, if it's, if don't fry it, you know, just cut out the fried food, cut out the processed uh, carbs and then you're naturally going to be a little bit healthier as well. Absolutely, because we're getting in cold season, flu season, and COVID, and, you know, a lot of those things people don't, uh, it, instead of going, and which is great that we have a vaccine for COVID on, on the horizon, but during this time, I think people ought to go, what are some simple things I can be doing That's before right. that? There is so much you can personally mm -hmm. do to reduce your chance of developing COVID, developing the flu, uh, well, getting a cold good, this year. Good information by, and, and good opportunities to improve your health right now have never been more important. Absolutely. If COVID is such an epidemic, so is obesity and so uh -huh. is diabetes and so is a lot of other things. And now mm -hmm. people need to be really looking at how are they living. Absolutely. They really you know, do. The, 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 if I could stress one thing and if I could ask the public for one thing, if you've ever wondered how important proper health is, look at who suffers from COVID the most. Those who are unhealthy suffer the most. Yes, anyone can get it. You can be of any mm -hmm. age, right. any health. Mm -hmm. It's it's open to anyone, but it's those who are the unhealthiest that suffer the most. So simple vitamins, uh, vitamin intake, getting sun, get out, get out in the sun, enjoy the sun. Sun is your, your number one producer of vitamin D. Vitamin yeah, and D let's talk important. about vitamin D. Okay. I think that, you know, um, that's one of the things that is a huge impact for your health. It's been shown, and even like for helping with COVID, uh, that, that people aren't doing. And I read some numbers that said, you know, there's a large part of the population here in the U.S. that is deficient in vitamin D. Mm -hmm. A great number of people are deficient in vitamin D. It's, it's one of the greatest deficiencies that we have in the United States. And it's it's simple. Get out and uh, get some sunlight. You can take vitamin D. And, and let's give a disclaimer right now. Any advice that we give on here, it, we're not your medical doctor. Absolutely. Right and here. certainly, the one of the things with vitamin D, which has made it so confusing to people, how much should I take, whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it depends on your age, a lot of your medical conditions, a, a lot of times on your race, because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm looking now that I have my glasses on that 42% of the US population is deficient in, in vitamin D, but more blacks are, more Hispanics are. Uh, and part of that is because they don't absorb the sunlight mm -hmm. as well. They don't get that conversion of the vitamin D. So sunlight is great, but it's not like a take this exact amount. And some people get more in their diet, mm -hmm. And some people need more supplemented. Well, and a vaccine is not a cure-all. A vaccine is not a cure-all. So you have to be healthy all the time. It's not and, a cure anything. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> right. it's a preventative. <laughs> it's supposed it, preventative. And we're going to talk more about that in the next segment with Dr. Diane Andrews. Mm -hmm. But it's so important. It's so important that people right now get very serious about their health, theirs and their loved ones. I actually take vitamin D. Awesome. I'm one of those people that just does not process D mm -hmm. properly. So it's so important. And if I didn't take it, I would not be faring as well. Most you might break your wrist or something. <laughs> <laughs> Most Just people can take it. 600 to 1,000 milligrams of, right. uh, of uh, or IUs of vitamin D. Uh, if you're The best way to determine how many IUs of vitamin D you actually need is to go to your doctor and get tested. You can actually run a uh, blood test to see how deficient you are. Right. And let them recommend up to 5,000, you know, anywhere between 600 to 5,000 IUs of vitamin D. Depending on what your number is. And, you know, that's exactly. something that even with, you know, all the osteoporosis uh, uh, treatment and prevention that we talked about as gynecologists for years, we just told people to take a calcium supplement. And then it wasn't, you know, at, at least the last 10 years, it seems that it was like, oh, we should be checking their vitamin D2 uh, as well. Uh, not their vitamin D2, but D also, because <laughs> there's D2 and D3. Correct. Uh, Correct. But uh, And so many women were deficient. And if you don't replace that, you don't get proper uh, absorption of your calcium but let's hit just a couple real quick because we only have a minute people think about taking vitamin C when vitamin it's cold C. time vitamin C vitamin C is great uh, you can take 1250 to 2000 
I wouldn't take much more than 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C. If you get diarrhea, that's the, that's the major side effect of vitamin C. Cut off about 500 milligrams, and some say cut it in half. You can also take zinc. Zinc is very important. Absolutely. Do not take more zinc than you should. There My you go. My husband Cody's. swears on these. It's zinc lozenges. Those are great. You know, which... Absolutely. Yeah, it, it, it's been shown that, you know, if you start on within the first 24 hours of having cold symptoms, mm -hmm. that it can lessen the amount of time that, that you have mm -hmm. your cold. Well, and, people and, need to go check out Dr. Ron McMorris. One thing about zinc is they really need to be careful taking too much zinc. Right. Too much zinc causes oh. zinc toxicity, and the major side effect of zinc toxicity is lowered immune system. And we don't want that because we're we talking don't want that. bump up your immune system real quick. Hit your website and where should people look you up Dr. for Ron more info? Dr. Morris, Elite Chiropractic, myelitechiro.com or walkerchiro.com, Walker in Albany, right off I-12. All right, put this on. <laughs> you can't have a bad day if you go see your doctor and he's wearing that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Come back yeah. and see us in January. Absolutely. We want to hear a little bit more from you. And we'll be right back with Dr. Diane Andrews. You do not want to miss this, her new book, tells an awful lot that you need to know about COVID, the cover up, and what's coming next, right here on Rocket Right. Hey y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by, far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. Slimshot is the most in-demand injection in medical weight loss and we are pleased to offer it at Causey Metastetic. This safe and effective injection helps boost your metabolism, supports increased energy, burns body fat, and reduces appetite. These shots can be taken safely once a week or as needed when your weight loss is at a standstill. Slimshot combined with touchless lipo treatments produce a powerful one-two punch for targeting that stubborn body fat. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Surprise, something good has finally happened in 2020. Yours truly, The Clarence Bug Show, gets to be with you every day of the week. That's right, 11 to 12 every weekday. And, of course, The Exiles right in front of yours truly from 10 to 11, yours truly 11 to 12. So now it's appointment viewing five days a week here on The Pelican. The Clarence Bug Show, the only thing missing is you. Hi, I'm Tony Acor with Southern Airs Auction, Dental Springs, Louisiana. We've been professional estate liquidators for over 30 years. 
Please take time to join us for our weekly online sales on Facebook. If you need help, hit us up. We are often imitated but never duplicated. www.southernairs.com or Facebook at Southern Airs Auction. Five hundred, but a good four, but a good three hundred, a good two hundred, a good two two. I got a hundred and a half, hundred and a half, one seventy. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's twenty-one state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? We're so glad that you could come back and join us mm -hmm. for what will be a very riveting two segments with Rocket Right. I am Hurricane Betsy Barnes here with Dr. K Solar <laughs> and Diane Andrews, who is PhD Diane Andrews. She is an award-winning television host, an author, a business owner, and has done quite a bit of research about COVID-19. She has a new book out. Cover Up ID 2019. It's about the greatest mobilization of a public-private collaboration in American history in non-war times. And let me tell you, this is her fifth book. She has written fiction, nonfiction, and this you will find very enlightening about exactly what has happened pre-COVID, during the short time of COVID. I know it feels like forever, but it's actually been a very short time in the scheme of things, and then what we can expect going forward and the leadership that gave us not only the mobilization that Diane talks about in her book and that we're gonna talk about, but also about the leadership that made our country the greatest country in handling COVID-19. Whether you agree, whether you don't, you need to stay tuned because there's some great information here. So thank you so much for being with us. Diane is thank the host. Thank you for having me. She's the host of In Black and White. You may have seen her in one of three million homes all over the state of Louisiana, into Mississippi and Texas, and we're so thankful that you could be here. This is a super serious subject, and it looks like a very small book, but let me tell you, it's a deep read because you have a ton of stats. Mm -hmm. You have a ton of information about other countries, not just the United yes. States. And your premise is, during the last nine months, this mobilization of private partner collaboration is unprecedented in the history of the United States. Tell us why you decided to do and this. And I would probably even take it further than that, probably in the world. I say non-war times, but there were 190,000 people involved in this mobilization that President, the administration, put into motion. Mm -hmm. It started off on January 14th after we had been asking and asking China, has it jumped? To zoonosis, human to right. human trans, uh, transfer, human to human, and they kept saying it's animal to animal. To yesterday, CNN even said, "Hey, it seems like it was true," mm -hmm. that they were hiding it for months. When Donald Trump and the administration and many others were saying they were hiding, and everybody said he was a racist, he was a xenophobe when he closed the border. People mm -hmm. may not realize this. I was shocked. Fourteen thousand people go from China to America out of our western border every day. 6,000 from- Isn't that crazy numbers? Yeah, four, I had no crazy idea. Numbers. Can you imagine that's half a million people, over five million people- Out of a, our western a, border. Western border to China. And when he closed that, that stopped that. Now he found out on the 14th, uh, January uh, 14th, by mm -hmm. the 31st, he had shut down the borders. And you may remember Nancy Pelosi on February 4th at our State of the Union tearing up his papers. Oh yes. That right. he was talking yep. about that. And he talked For about- sure what was going on and of course he thought maybe Wuhan was telling the truth at first you have to give everybody the benefit right. of the doubt Wuhan is in Hubei province which is like a state of Louisiana here Wuhan is a city like Baton Rouge in China but much bigger mm -hmm. yes it's Wuhan Hubei China like Baton Rouge Louisiana United States mm -hmm. that's the way it works over there. and they shut down all their borders between states Mm -hmm. That's the way they did Ebola. I've done Ebola, Zika with Dr. Retard, our state epidemiologist who passed right. last month. Yes. I've done. I've been doing viruses for five years, flu. We've done every pandemic All and types epidemic of around. Research. Yeah, H1N1, everything. And this and Ebola. The reason I bring that up is they shut the borders down from country to country in Africa with the Ebola virus. That's how they contained mm -hmm. it. So in other countries, they shut the borders down more quickly than we did state Only to state Only China here did the that. States. They were shutting the border down before they right. told us it had jumped from human to human. So why were they mm -hmm. shutting the border down? 
So one of the things in, in your book and in conversation that you say is the media was working against President Trump in trying to get everything mobilized to protect people because PPE, ventilators, and other necessary equipment to protect and to be used in healthcare had actually been um, completely depleted during the Obama-Biden administration eight well, years previous. That's what you're, yes, you're saying. Yes, President uh, Bush started something, uh, named, he named it our national stockpile for the N95s. Mm -hmm. And he also started what we use now, the messenger RNA is what the Pfizer and the Moderna, they're six virus candidates. Those two are using the messenger RNA, right. which is the old te cell technology, this one just does within, as you know better than me, doctor, and that uh, they, you take up from the DNA, you take the DNA, you send the messenger to the ribosomes, and it creates the message you want to, to produce right. protein sy uh, synthesis. Right. And that's what messenger RNA is. This is the first right. time in history that this has been used to create a vaccine and I'm so that excited about this. Yes. This will change humanity. Even Jake Tapper and Dr. Gupta had to say this This is an unmitigated success, they said last week. Mm -hmm. Joe Scarborough, uh, Scarborough on MSNBC also said this is unparalleled from the administration. If those people said this who were calling him xenophobe when he shut our borders down, if he hadn't, we would have lost 20 million people, I believe, from that. Now, IHME out of, uh, out of University of Washington, which Bill Gates funds, that is the only mm -hmm. grants they've ever gotten. That's who did our modeling that Dr. Fauci and Deborah Burke, Dr. Burke used. Now, I hope you're listening. If you just tuned in, this is Dr. Diane Andrews, and she has done a book about the cover-up of COVID-19 medica medical help, med medical assistance. So if you're just tuning in, keep listening because she she talks fast I but do. it's a lot of information and it's so important for people to understand where we've been and where we're going right he initiated the defense production act that is how the ppe was president trump, trump initiated, initiated since the defense the korean production war. act that's right it has not been used since the 1950s the korean war that was when it was started that's the last time it was used during the korean war i think now they i know that's when it started was in the korean war i don't think any other president had but i don't know mm -hmm. that for sure but he did now initiate shut down the korean oil refineries and other yeah. types of manufacturing well, what facilities. he did was he made gm and ford especially gm retool with ventec they were creating ventilators in 17 days i think it took and i'm so i get so not happy about this, but so proud of what this country did. As I said, he had a man named General Salamani. He built, he's over the Corps of Engineers, he built 16,000 temporary beds in three to four weeks around this country. One in, in New Orleans, in our convention center. Mm -hmm. At the Memorial three, Convention Center. Yes. Jacob Javits, they built 3,000. You know how many they used based on what the states were predicting? Yeah. Based on Hardly the modeling the, from a study funded by Bill Gates. Not, but right. they didn't model down to the state. The states did a lot of their own modeling because I had a former state assistant, a Louisiana state assistant epidemiologist on. We were doing a lot of our own internal modeling per state. But they used 182 beds of the 3,000, but they created At almost 16,000. 1.7 million, $1 million right, is the expense to, build to the that. state. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, and also we sent the Mercy and the Comfort, which are three football fields long, mm -hmm. 10,000 uh, uh, ships. Ship. Uh, no, it's two ships. We have two hospital ships, the right. Mercy and the Comfort. Mm -hmm. California got one and New York got the right. other. But after three and a half weeks, they had to send them home because that was supposed to offload the hospitals. Right. As you know, in the beginning of COVID, the COVID was the emergency, the hospitals were the emergency centers for COVID and everybody right. else had to wait. So right. he sent that there as Governor Cuomo kept a lot of his nursing home people in the nursing home and many died Yes, in the nursing homes. Still today, New York is not our largest state, but we have more deaths in New York than any state. When I did shows in August, being a mathematician, I, w I looked at how many deaths we had in Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania, all on that East Coast Corridor. Mm -hmm. Sec 65 percent of all our deaths in August were on those four states. If we had, and that was probably coming from some infectious disease doctors I did shows with, that was probably coming from Italy. Mm -hmm. Italy at one time was the number one in the in the world for losing people at one right. time. And the, we do believe that there are multiple strands, and I think research proves it is. And there was a different strand that had mutated to Italy. 
Mm -hmm. And so we believe that we, I mean, people believe, scientists sure. believe, sure. and research right. shows that their strand came in from that, and that's why it was so prominent on the East Coast. But they did make critical mistakes keeping people in nursing homes that should have been right. going to get on ventilators. And, not and allowing people them. coming in and out as contractors in nursing homes, like what happened at Lambeth House right. in New Orleans. You know, where it they started people, here. Yes, they knew that people were sick. They were not stopping the in and out. And then other people contracted it, whether it was brought in initially from somebody right. infected at Mardi Gras or not. We don't know, but it continued to mutate and to continue to spread. spread yeah. And so we should have shut down New Orleans. Right. Mm -hmm. Probably. We should have isolated it in some way. Let me tell you, I started my first show. I did 10 shows on COVID. I've done 10. And I was doing shows in March. I gloved up, masked up, sterilized my studio, social distanced my guests, and I never stopped. I did 30 shows during, since, since March. Mm -hmm. And so I don't understand why people... I knew about it in February. I was talking to Dr. Retard, our state epidemiologist. Right. I talked to him in the hospital when he was sick. And, uh, and then I got our former state epidemiologist to, to do the first show with me. We had the five deaths in at Lambert. And after that, of course, exponential. Everybody's in and out of New Orleans. Again, take some heat from, from the Ebola. Isolate. Take some heat from China, even though we don't believe their numbers. They said that right. too on CNN. Mm -hmm. we, we believe they do have more deaths there. And whether this is a bioweapon, as Dr. Lee Wen Young, and I may be mispronouncing mm -hmm. her name, but that's a virologist right. who escaped from China, who worked mm -hmm. on this disease, yes. who says it is. Interview. Yes, yeah. and she also says uh, they have her mother captive now because mm -hmm. she escaped from China. You know, let's, um, let's take a break. Okay. We're going to come back, and we want to talk a little bit more because if we could do this in a year, what else could the United States do to recover? What could we do as a state to recover? And what could we do if we face any other <laughs> challenges like this? We need to give ourselves a little pat on the back and credit where credit is due That's to true. the leaders of our country. And we're going to be right back with Diane Andrews, host of In Black and White. We'll be right back on Rocket Right Radio <laughs> and TV. <laughs> Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Rocket Right Radio with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is grateful for the sponsoring businesses who make our show possible. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts. Advantage Health Solutions and Dr. Boyd Michael Helm. Mary Bird Perkins, our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. Hightower Dental Concepts and Dr. Leah Larson, City Group Hospitality, Laura Sue Events and Marketing, Southern Airs Auctions and Tony Acord, Louisiana Women in Business Magazine, LouisianaTravel.com, LouisianaIsAtrip.com, take one, and Dr. Danielle Causey with Causey Aesthetic Medicine. Thank you for making our show possible. I was diagnosed October 19th. I immediately started with a multitude of scans, and then I was having an eight-hour surgery. My biggest concern was my family, and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Ripe Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Langnet. Rocket Ripe Radio. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. 
If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker, and Albany. Hi, I'm Tony Acor with Southern Airs Auction, Dental Springs, Louisiana. We've been professional estate liquidators for over 30 years. Please take time to join us for our weekly online sales on Facebook. If you need help, hit us up. We are often imitated but never duplicated. www.southernairs.com or Facebook at Southern Airs Auction. Five hundred, but a good four, but a good three hundred, a good two hundred, a good two, two. I got a hundred and a half, hundred and a half, one seventy. Hey, y'all! I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. Show. I'm Dr. K. Seller in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes, <laughs> and our medical segment is brought to you each week by Mary Bird Perkins, our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, and we are continuing our discussion with Diane Andrews. I sure appreciate the Thank time you, you all. Thank you so much for, for being with us, and you know, I, I love uh, your book, Cover Up ID 2019, uh, we're talking about that, and certainly as far as the medical uh, issue goes with everything with COVID-19. It's like been one of the most politicized yes. health issues ever, I think. And I don't even remember any of the previous pandemics be, being, right. uh, or epidemics being yeah. so politicized. Well, I think H1N1, even though it wasn't lethal, but 60 million people in America under Biden, Obama, had, and I'll say Biden, Obama, since he is the presumptive president-elect, mm -hmm. uh, uh, had and he kind of led that charge. I think Ron Klein, his chief of mm -hmm. staff, said on on CNN and in print that they were lucky because 60 million people had it. We never heard about it. Every day, what do you see? A death toll, to, uh, right. 100,000, yes. 200,000. Yeah, they, they didn't do that. that I didn't know 60 right. million people had H1N1 swine right. flu. I know. But it only killed 12,000. He said if it had been as lethal as this, they mm -hmm. would have been in trouble because they did everything wrong. And that was their chief of staff, who is presumed to be the chief of staff for Biden, if indeed he is sworn in as president of the United States. But one thing I would like to say about President Trump, he had the wherewithal, being a businessman, to come in. They have looked at 100 companies, pharmaceutical companies, and they narrowed it down in two weeks to six candidates, Pfizer, along with BioNTech, who is out of mm -hmm. Germany, who does their manufacturing, who the UK today just approved that, that them, and they will be shipping 800,000 doses to, tonight to them to start vaccinating the people in UK. Now, Pfizer, Operation Warp Speed, mm -hmm. as you may remember, right. I understand Barron came up with the name, his son, is what I've read. I don't know if that's completely what he... Well, it, I think it is. It's great. Compared yeah, to great name. other vac vaccines, it's definitely, it's definitely been warp speed. Well, Dr. Monet yes. Salali, who is the chief scientist on this, was on my research, and he was he said this yesterday again. Vaccines usually take... He has bought six vaccines to the market. He was a pharmace pharmaceutical ex executive at GSK, GlaxoSmithKline, mm -hmm. and they're one of the candidates also. Mm -hmm. It's Pfizer with BioNTech, it's AstraZeneca with Oxford University, it's Madero, it's Merck, it's J&J, &J and GSK. 
Mm -hmm. Those are the mm -hmm. six they came down with. Well, those Everybody, are the big ones. Yeah, yeah, those are the big ones. But everyone did get, and it's another called Sanofi, which may be a part of it, too. They're another out of France, I think. Uh, and they're the fifth largest pharmaceutical company in the, in the world. We just don't know them, but they're out of France, and they may, may be the seventh. Mm -hmm. But everybody did get money up front. As you may have seen, Pfizer said, I wasn't a part of Operation Warp Speed. That is not true. They were sitting in the meeting, and the agreement is that they get the money when they start manufacturing, which is now which is right. $1.95 billion, 11 wow. to $18 billion this president and for our money put into this, but also not just for this. As you know, he had COVID. His wife has COVID. His son had COVID. Barron, they all, this is a family affair. They all had COVID. And he walked out as an obese, over 70, about 74, 75 years old, comorbidities, mm -hmm. the age and the, and the obesity. He may have hypertension, I don't know. But Two things, you all just talked about zinc and vitamin D, which are he now therapeutics. Yes, yes. Right. And everybody should, that is what my research shows for COVID. Uh, Dr. Somali off Newsmax yesterday said he takes 5,000 units of vitamin D3 is the one I think is supposed to be the it's, best. Is yeah, that right? Maximum D3, D3 you can yeah. get five, yeah, 10,000 units for five bucks at and, Walgreens. And, and again, it's good to check your levels because That's right. you can get too much of any Especially good zinc. thing. That's and so right. you can be toxic like with zinc and you can get toxic side effects, you know, with vitamin, vitamin D if you took way too much. Yeah. But, um, I understand three know. to 5,000 units is, is okay. Is that right? It doctor? seems to be okay. Yeah. okay. One, you know, anywhere from one to five. Well, hey, when I heard him say though, five, I went from two to five if you yesterday. Look at the RDA and and everything for health reasons sometimes is more than the RDA only says you need. And that's you know, required if they were daily allowance. To, a lot of people to, don't know. Yeah, to to supplement, they would say, right. oh, you should take maybe six to eight hundred. Right. Um, uh, and then, but to get your levels up, and that's just to, to build immunity. Health, you, you, yes, you might need. A thousand to five thousand right. a like day, but again, checking your levels is good because you're going to know where you're at. Well, your physician you need to be. can recommend mm -hmm. how much you should mm -hmm. personally be taking a one, day. One thing I'd like to say about vitamin D in my research, which I had no idea, people of color don't absorb vitamin D yes. as easily as Caucasians do because of the skin pigmentation. Absolutely. and that would be black, brown, yellow. Any yes. people with melasma, with a melanin, don't absorb it That's as right. quickly. And so when we see that people of color, blacks and Hispanics, have been dying at a greater rate, some believe that that has, is part of that issue, yes. that we don't absorb vitamin D. As you know, it's called the sunshine vitamin, and it's more of a hormone because it improves the immune system. Absolutely. So well. it, 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 it definitely helps with um, immunity. And in the research that I did, it said that pro like 82%... I think of um, African Americans are deficient, right. and about seventy percent of Hispanics. That's you right. You know they didn't go through. So, you know that's one of right. the things that what and I it wanted to bring that to be up for people. Taking your vitamin D. That's Those right. are things that people that's can what people do without waiting on the vaccine. That's We're not right. talking about any of the things that you can but Dr. K, I don't be think doing most now. Blacks know you know, that. in the in, I don't think in, they do. in the I, news, yeah. they, they didn't really talk about. Uh, things that you could be doing right now while we're right. waiting on the vaccine. Zinc and vitamin D are two things, the therapeutics, and I talk about in the book that um, yes. the, everything that Donald Trump took is available for everybody. Regeneron is the cocktail that creates a synthetic antibiotic, and he believes that's what saved his life. Dr. Ben Carson had COVID two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He was doing very badly. Donald Trump heard about it. The president he called and he you have to get it under compassionate use it didn't have the emergency use authorization I explain right. what all of those are in my book right. uh, so it's re emergency use now but when he two weeks ago it was not so Donald Trump got a compassionate use for Dr. Ben Carson to get Regeneron I have the prices of what all these are remdesivir is another therapeutic but it was developed for Ebola years ago and it has not mm -hmm. paired well well H uh, the World Health Organization does not believe it's a good drug mm -hmm. well and just like hydroxychloroquine right that's one of the things that the media really like hammered well, on some of the doctors well, that Dr. were Fauci prescribing wanted, it. I wanted, but, yeah. Dr. Okay, Fauci was, wanted remdesivir. Mm -hmm. We gave him uh, so much money for this, I think, in the millions of dollars. It's in my book. I think $75 million this year. there was year. no hesitancy. And never to, found to work for Ebola or this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no hesitancy on the part of our national leadership team. No. 
under President Trump. And to Mike fund Pence, we cannot and, leave him out. Right. As a, first, that's it was right. Azar, the Secretary of uh, Health and Hospitals, was the leader, and then Mike Pence took it over. Azar said, uh, in, it, it's in my book, and I'm doing another edition on, in the book. He said that this is the greatest thing that has ever been done in medical field for the fourth, fourth right for humanity. If there's ever another vaccine, I think they're going to use the mRNA. Now, all mm -hmm. six candidates, some are using vector technology. Everyone is not using the mRNA. Now, what is the, the difference different, in vector technology Well, that is for a, whole that's a whole different story. That's, yeah, a, whole that's a whole different show. story with, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with a lot more. That may be why they're there behind. are different <laughs> types of vaccines. That's right. And, that, and I think that's the thing to, you know. But, if, and, but this is the first time because, for messenger RNA, and yes. that's what people need to understand what it did. It took it down nine months from four to 25 years. 25 years to develop a vaccine. And honestly, I listened to this Thanks round table Trump. where um, one of the uh, guys who is over the vaccine center at Vanderbilt said, you know, if we would think in advance mm -hmm. this type of technology, they can predict what are going to be some of the future diseases That's right. and could in advance have vaccines rather than trying to Let's do Let's talk it about cancer at, that at, kills 600,000 people a year. Yeah. Let's talk about lung cancer uh, that kills 170,000 well, last year, well, 150 we, from cigarette smoke. I like to put it in perspective. 260,000 people, of course, is too many. And if it's your grandmother and right. well, my grandmother, and she was 110 years old, I'd still be upset. 330 million people, that is a very, very small number of people. Well, if you put it in respect to other diseases. Right. Heart disease is the number one killer Absolutely. in this country. And it killed over 750,000 people last year. See, people, when you see it on right. your screen every day, they don't know if it's big or small for help. Right. It it's, just it's, feels it's, like fear. That's right. right. It just well, feels and I can like tell fear. you that folks, they, they know a lot of the things that they shouldn't be doing to get heart disease. Right. They definitely know These are the things, things we they can shouldn't prevent. be doing to get some. And they still don't do it. So when we have this vaccine, are those same people going to go take the vaccine, or are they not? That's a big question. And it will out be free, too. thanks to President Trump. He has said this vaccine will be free. Now, the mRNA is a two-shot vaccine. You do have to, right. and you get transient sickness like the like the the well, COVID the itself. Vaccine. Mm -hmm. Like the COVID, you get fatigue. That's a real big sign of this. So you do get transient for about 24 hours for 10 percent of the people who take the vaccine. Well, I would say so much. Great stay tuned to Governor John Bill Edwards' press conferences to see where we are with delivery of that, and we'll get one point. 1.46 percent of all the vaccinations that are delivered to the United States right here in Louisiana, yeah. and our healthcare workers will be the first to have those. So and nursing home patients. And nursing it's home the, patients. It's the most vulnerable. Also. Is the way Azar so, has it. Before we let you go, you have to choose your hat, put oh. it on, because we only have a couple of oh, seconds a left, tree. and we want to make right. sure everybody checks out her book. We'll have Cover up the information ID on 19. our Facebook page at Rocket Right Radio. Stay tuned for. What's going on in the arts oh, downtown? That's right, with Up Renee next. Chatelaine. We'll be right back. Thank you, Diane Oh, Andrews. thank you. It's been a pleasure. And we'll do this some more on my show. Let's and do it. Do some other things together. I think we Sounds can do some good, good, good work. Thank we you. We love it. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker, and Albany. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You come to Louisiana for smiles not souvenirs. You come here to get lifted up, spun around, and put down in a brighter place. You come here for the distinctive music and the amazing food, but what really spills out of the horns and over the edges of your plate is joy. Come one, come y'all. This is Lauren Daigle inviting you to come feed your soul in Louisiana. Slimshot is the most in-demand injection in medical weight loss, and we are pleased to offer it at Causey Metastetic. This safe and effective injection helps boost your metabolism, supports increased energy, burns body fat, and reduces appetite. 
These shots can be taken safely once a week or as needed when your weight loss is at a standstill. SlimShot combined with touchless lipo treatments produce a powerful one-two punch for targeting that stubborn body fat. Rocket Right Radio with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K Solar is grateful for the sponsoring businesses who make our show possible. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts. Advantage Health Solutions and Dr. Boyd Michael Helm. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. Hightower Dental Concepts and Dr. Leah Larson. Citigroup Hospitality. Laura Sue Events and Marketing. Southern Airs Auctions and Tony Acord. Louisiana Women in Business Magazine. LouisianaTravel.com. LouisianaIsAtrip.com. Take one. And Dr. Danielle Causey with Causey Aesthetic Medicine. Thank you for making our show possible. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's 21 state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denno Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time that I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there that this is a place is cutting edge. Seller in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes. With our Christmas cheer. Yes, with our Christmas cheer <laughs> and joining us for some Christmas cheer. Cheer, cheer. I haven't had very much of this, I promise. Oh, <laughs> it's sure. Renee Shalling, who is the president and CEO of the Arts Council of Greater Baton Rouge. Thanks for joining us. Oh my gosh, thanks for having we me. We haven't seen you since your birthday. That's we're so right. glad you were on our show for your birthday. <laughs> I know. That was so much fun. We always we'll have to do it again. Brand. So, you know, we broke out the wine again just for your occasion. That's right. Because it's the start of the holiday. I love it. It could be my birthday, the holidays, whatever, right? Let's and celebrate. it's the beginning of the building. I it see is. it taking shape in downtown Baton Rouge, your new home location. It's going to be fabulous. Talk I'm to so us excited. about it. The Kerry Siraj Community Arts Center. It's so exciting, you know, because it was the old district attorney's office. Yeah. And it's a great triangle-shaped building, perfect for arts people. Mm -hmm. And um, it'll be uh, a building that um, where artists can come and record music. I, know I that love that's, that. You know, yeah. um, they can work on their craft. We'll have artist studios. We'll have kilns. Um, all different ways that people can come together and work for free or really affordable means, right? Because we want our talent to stay in this community. We want to be able to have people visit us and see what a great cultural community we have. Well, even for those that go off, uh, having that base of having had right. a great arts center to you know just inspire their creativity while they're growing up and stuff is so important and to meet other yeah. artists and people of different mediums and just to enjoy that collaborative environment that's so important and yeah. i think we have some renderings that we can show of the building 
Uh, can y'all pop those up oh, for folks to see? Yes. Yeah. So, so beautiful. Yeah, oh. so we're also adding, a, and you can see on that rendering, we're adding a rooftop terrace with an indoor and outdoor space. So if you're an artist, you can go up there and be inspired. But if you want to just come up and have a glass of wine or have some of your friends over uh, before a show at the Manship or the River Center or just on a Friday afternoon, you can absolutely do that. And then the extension that we're building, the glass extension, um, I know that we have uh, Shell has sponsored that art gallery. We'll have a two-story art gallery in there with rotating art exhibits and a lot from the community. So it's so, so exciting. And, and you know, that's an area of downtown that, that you know, was a little bit, um, I guess, underrepresented. And it now, needed a little beautification there right go. there on that I corner. Like that, that, yeah. that, cor that corner mm -hmm. on the world, you know, of the downtown world and all the neighboring buildings this is going to just uplift and really add some glam yeah i'm super some excited glam about and it. some art yeah yeah and, exactly. and and i can tell you i've been practicing on my art so i want to be in the gallery when she is you like, getting better when you like, i can't wait when you, when you like open it up absolutely mm -hmm. yes absolutely and, and i want to be on the chair to everyone who comes to see mine and we'll give them a whole lot so that they love everything by the time they leave <laughs> That's, right. That's my I thought. love it. <laughs> well, we know a few musicians. If you ever need any musicians exactly. up there to play a little music. I think you know it. that's plenty, too. <laughs> but let's, let's talk about 2020. Hard for everyone in the creative yes. community. Musicians, all artists, everything. But y'all have done some things to kind of adapt and kind of keep things going. Talk about some of those things that y'all have done during this time. You know, we really, we really kept pushing to have people connect to their artists and to the community. And one of the one of the things we love is the TGIF concerts, where we um, tell businesses, you know, you've had all those Zoom meetings. Let the one at the end of the week be your TGIF. You know, any day or any time of the day is a TGIF opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and you can hire a musician of your choice, your genre, and spend 20, 30 minutes just enjoying the music of that musician. We go. We pay the musician, but they can put a tip jar out. That has helped to sustain them. Um, we have a program called Creative Relief, mm -hmm. where we were able to provide some grant funds for artists, um, some emergency funds, like $300 for rent or, or electricity. You know, we want them to be able to live and thrive and do their work. And um, we've done a lot of that. We're working on outdoor concerts. We had Sunday in the Park, and right. that was really great. We followed all the restrictions. Um, but people were great. Like they were really hungry for a concert. So we're looking to do our jazz series in the spring. Same thing outside or, you know, how, however per we're permitted to do it. That's what we're going to do. And even this weekend, the Festival of Lights downtown is a little bit abbreviated, right? We'll still have festival. We'll still have the lighting of the Christmas tree and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But we'll have performers. You know, we have some great circus performers here in the city. We hired them. Um, we have our arts markets, and they're they're safe. There's you know all the distancing Outdoor and everything. Shopping. But yes. every weekend in December, and that allows artists to sell all their wares. So all that art you're making, you could sell it at I the market. I don't have enough to sell yet. <laughs> <laughs> But that's going to be where exactly can people find that on the weekends? On Saturday or Sunday or both? It's on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And it's um, we do it along with the farmer's market. So Great. on Saturdays from 8 until noon, you can go downtown to Main Street. And um, we're right there in the parking lot. Can't miss us. Um, there's 60 vendors and they're all original art, you know, from really all over the region, even outside of Baton Rouge, and they come in, and um, it's just a great opportunity if you're shopping for Christmas. I great mean, I place to shop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And support your local folks. Absolutely. I mean, you know, because that's who really, really needs the support, and especially the artists. I'm Absolutely committed to buying enough. small and buying local this year. Me too. Me too. And you mean buying small business, not buying small quantities, Betsy. I want to clarify. Well, a little bit of both. <laughs> a little bit of both. It's been a tough year. I think everybody, nobody's expecting huge Christmas gifts this year. Right. But I think it's important that we do support the artists and the local businesses and those people that are really just trying to survive after the year we've had. Absolutely. Many Absolutely. of them may have lost their full-time job, and this is just helping them with art therapy as they yeah. are passionately painting or doing whatever they're doing to keep afloat. Well, you know, even we've had uh, costumers from the different performing arts groups, the theater groups, mm -hmm. make masks and we sell those masks and 100% of the proceeds go to those organizations and they've done really well. We sold, you know, 1,500 masks to Exxon. We sold 400 masks to we Performance We need to get some masks. Yeah. We do. So, 
Anyway, do you have some that are Christmas themed? You know, I'll have to reach out to my artist and have mm-hmm. them do a little. Tell them to put a little Santa Claus beard on yes. the end of it. Yes. You know, braid it with some little tinsels and something crazy, yeah. you know. But I would say, I would say to the audience, you know, support your artists, support your arts organizations. Certainly the Arts Council, we re-grant money and funds. So, you know, look look to support those people and give that as a Christmas gift in honor of, you know, Absolutely. and support your artists in the town. Absolutely. So, so what else is on the horizon for the Arts uh, Council? Well, you know, our building is our big news, and yes. and you know, we're we're we have a public campaign right now, so you certainly can contribute and be part of that if you want to buy a chair, or a bench, or just be part of the energy. That would be mm-hmm. great. But also, lot, look for festivals in the spring. We're going to modify it if we have to and do virtual combinations, but we are going to be there. Well, the thing of it is, with virtual, I think a lot of folks, they're kind of getting a little tired of virtual because they want to be there physically. But the one thing that virtual does, it opens up your concert experience to folks all over the world that may not even be able to travel here to do that during this time where people are a little afraid of traveling. So it does open up your audience. And for those that can come, then that's great, too, when you can do both. I like Absolutely. That. So, Betsy, did you say that we needed to support some toys for Tots? Yes. So, I got a call today from Santa and the U.S. Marine Corps for the Toys for Tots toy drive. And so, on Sunday, December 6th, is going to be one opportunity for you to go to Baton Rouge Harley-Davidson on Segan at 10 a.m. They're going to do the blessings of the bike. And then from 12 to 6, they're going to go to the Pastime Grill and collect toys for tots, um, socks for the homeless, canned goods and non-perishable for the Baton Rouge Food Bank, and Bibles for those in Lake Charles. So could you help Santa and the United States Marine Corps out and go to the Pastime could you do that? So we really do appreciate it if you could help them out. And if we'll have information on our Facebook page. And just remember, if you're going to rock it, make, make sure, sure you rock, rock it right, right with the Arts <laughs> Council of Greater Baton Rouge. Yes. Check out all their cool stuff. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. 